VC here. So this is the hardest race I've ever done, and I'm going to walk you through it. It's at the uh, Sea Otter Classic. It's the road race, okay, which is the road race is basically, mm, it's like a small circuit. It's like a three or four mile, maybe, maybe bigger, maybe eight mile kind of circuit. We ride from the track out to that circuit. We go down the hill. This is actually the hill coming up. So we come down what's going to be the finish finish line hill. And look, dude, there are heavy hitters in this race. I don't belong in this race. Usually I do cat one, two. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a two. There's a lot of P's. The P12s means pros, cat ones, cat twos. Usually there's no P's. Here, tons of P's. All sorts of P's. Uh, Team Illuminate, right? Guys, guys like that. Uh, Lance hate it. Um, what else? You got Colin Strickland and his team. Like just everyone here. There's some guys from Columbia on Team Illuminate. Unreal, unreal. So this is the very first seconds of the race. It was neutralized until the turn up a two and a half minute climb. Uh, if you're me, if you're other guys, a two minute climb. So the climb is steep. And I actually, I've never ridden this course before, so I don't know. I don't know what is, I know nothing, Jon Snow. Okay, so I uh, I should have pre-rode the course, I guess, or had more information about it. Look, I'm just off the road right now. And at this moment, I'm thinking, okay, this is not like terribly too bad. And then this dude, which I'm going to assume is from Columbia, just like blows off the front. And I was like, wait, no, I thought we were going hard. I thought we were attacking. And so then everyone starts going, and I'm doing 600 watts and going backwards. For me, 600 watts is a lot of watts, right? I mean, I've, I did some of the best power I've done back to back to back to back. And I'm going to try to show you that. So in some sort of context, like, you know, I can do 350 watts for an hour, um, 600 watts for, you know, less than a minute, okay? And everyone's just going, and, and I mean, dude, the watts, the feedback was not right. I'm looking at the amount of watts I'm doing and how I'm going backwards. And it's just like, I don't know, there has to be something wrong with my bike. I legitimately at this moment almost pulled over because I was like, oh, I, there's my brakes are on. My crank is destroyed. Something has to be wrong because there's no way that I could be doing, you know, this kind of power and just about to be getting dropped. Like it's just blowing my mind. And I felt great going into this race. I felt phenomenal. It's some of the best legs I've ever had. First two minutes of the race. This is the very first two minutes of the race. Like, go. Two minutes later, I've done my second best two-minute power at 508 watts. Um, I just did my best ever two-minute power when I was out with Chaz. We were going for a KOM. And that was basically sprinting for two minutes. Okay? And it was like 510. Right? So just barely, barely did I get my second best uh, two minute power. My the climb I averaged 497, so just about 500 watts for two and a half minutes up this climb. Like my butthole is blown out. And then look, look at this. Look at this. Like it's so strung out. I, so to do five to average 500 watts for two and a half minutes, and then I'm basically the last one on the group. And those guys up ahead are, are what? 10, 15, 20 seconds ahead. It's unreal. It's, I can't even imagine being in a place that I could have been relevant in this race at all. Three minutes. I do my all time best three minute power at 475. There's a crosswind here. So everyone's sort of getting guttered into, you know, this like dirt patch right here. We're, we're off road right now. I am the last one on the group. There's no one behind me. And I'm just thinking, dude, I've I've vlogged a bunch to make like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog. And so to just get dropped in the first three minutes of the race, which a lot of guys did. I mean, there was a good group of guys that just got absolutely flicked on that very first riser, which I was almost there, right? Uh, I think I just willed myself into like, I cannot get dropped in the first climb. But you can see it's just blown apart. And I'm thinking, there's no way, dude, even though these guys are super strong, there's no way this can hold up. There's no way this pace can can continue like this. There will be a point in which everyone sort of comes back together. Uh, second best four-minute power at 450 watts. 
in the very first four minutes of the race. So, I mean, that's like saying, okay, doing really good power or doing some of the best power, that would be like, I'm going to go out and do four minutes. That's, I'm just going to do four minutes and see what that power is like. And then that's it. Okay. I've done my second best four minute power at the very beginning of a 62 mile road race. Okay. So cool. Uh, this is the last little pitch up basically before it kind of starts to roll downhill. Um, dude, 700 Watts, like, huh. but I was able to recover just a little bit, right? There was a little downhill. I was able to get off the pedals for just a, just a scotch. And then everyone did kind of lighten up the pace sort of eased just a little bit, right? Just a very, very tiny bit. Uh, but I mean, what was the, this is the very first five minutes of the race and I do my third best ever five minute power at 430 Watts. Now that's, that is saying on the stages, my power tap pedals, uh, my best ever was 445 for five minutes, but the power pa tap pedals, they read higher. So it's like, it's possible that I did my very best five minute power in the first five minutes of the race. So it sort of slows down and I'm thinking, okay, I get, I get my oxygen back to my brain a little bit and I need to try to move up because I'm just dangling on the back. I want to move up. I want to be, I want to be a part of this race. I want to be as close to these like heavy hitters as possible to really sort of gain that perspective of like, what is fit? What is fast? Right, I want to I want to put myself on the chopping block and and just be like, look, I feel confident right now. I coming into this race with a ton of confidence, but let's let's put that against guys who are getting, you know, like that are legit, right? That are that are possibly doing this for a living and and gonna be, you know, in the world tour. So that move goes. I kind of flick to the front, and I'm feeling really good right here. But I was like, what am I doing? Why? I should not be on the front at all. I'm not chasing this move down. I just almost got dropped. So I fall back to the group because I'm like, this is not, what am I doing? Why am I trying to be a hero? Uh, it would be cool to go with the group. But I, dude, I don't know the course at all. So I don't really know how much of is left, what is left, what the profile is like. We hit this little friggin' kick in the dick, which is the last uh, separator before that, a downhill into then the climb, which you'll do that five, six, seven times, I believe. And so we're doing five, six, seven hundred watts up this friggin' thing. And now right here, I believe we have a pretty good tailwind, uh, which you would think helps. It doesn't really because then the whole pace, like everyone's going faster uh, versus the front guys having to push the wind. So it's, it's actually really difficult with, with a tailwind here. Um, but I make it over this. And I am just thinking in my head, like, what is, what is happening? I can't, I, I don't belong here. Uh, how, how can this be, <laughs> right? How can I go from having so much confidence and feel good about my fitness to then just be with these guys that it's like, I, I just don't even understand. So now on this climb, I have to hold 500, I have to average 500 watts to make it over this climb with this group. Now, obviously, it would have been way better for me to have start started this climb in the front. Okay, it's easy to say that. It's really easy to say, oh, you need to be way further up front. Okay, everyone wants to be up front. So getting to this climb, like, it wasn't, wasn't just people noodling, you know what I mean? But I should have, what I would do next year, is really not empty the tank, but, but, but definitely burn some matches to be towards the front of the group so I had some slipping room on this climb I don't think anyone who made it over the second climb got dropped for the rest of the race right after the second climb it seemed like maybe it slowed down a little bit or it just got maybe the whole race wasn't as intense I mean still it's like every time up this thing it's, it's going to be very very difficult but just in general I, I want to say I don't think anyone got dropped out of the group that made it over this. Whoever, there were some guys that got dropped here on this one, including yours truly. Uh, and so I wish that I had stayed and like you look back and you think, man, if I could have just given another 30 seconds, you know, cause I was pretty close, dude. I mean, I was so close to making it. But at this point, I wanna say I've done like 
very close to some of the, my best 20 minute power. I mean, I'm just drilling it. I'm in the red. Okay, but dude, we're not that far off, right? So one other guy, uh, I come together with him, and you can see him up in the up the front, right? You can see the SRAM follow car, so we're not that far off. And I mean, we we gave a pretty good a pretty good dig to try to get back on, but I mean, we weren't full gas. We were doing, as you can see, we were doing doing a good amount of power. But it's just like they're gonna have to slow way down for us to catch back on. This dude, Jackson Duncan from Team Illuminate, he had gotten a flat, so then he comes racing by us. I jump on his wheel, and I was like, dude, I'm gonna, I, I feel like he's gonna get back on. I feel like if there's anyone's gonna get back on, it's gonna be him. So we've hit the climb for a third time, and I'm doing 600 watts just to stay on his wheel, and so then I'm like, you can't, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, this is super difficult. I don't understand. How can this guy be so strong? I'm light. I'm on, like, my legs are good. It's just, what? So I dig pretty deep and claw my way back onto Jackson. But I think Jackson just let me back on because he was just head over heels stronger than me. Double the strength. Jackson Duncan check him out because he's a legend so then I, uh, he flicks his, uh, his arm he's like okay let's let's go dude you know we're only 45 seconds back which I don't know where he got that time gap from maybe his team was telling him in his ear or something uh, which would be super pro if he had that I, I had no clue where the, where the group was and so I am showing you me doing some work that's uh, some trickery I, I think those were the only two polls that I did and they were so weak compared to what he was doing. I mean, he was just uncorking it. And again, he had had a flat. So I'm just thinking, like, dude, he's probably going to get back on. Uh, I start to see the the SRAM follow car. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, dude. We're going to get back on. This is going to be insane. So we hit this last little, you know, riser before the downhill. And he's telling me, get on them now. Get on them now. You have to get on them now. Because we needed that descent with the group. Look how close they're so close, but so far away. And so I'm doing, you know, 600 watts, bro. So, uh, so many watts. I rode, I rode the best I could have ever rode and had some amazing legs. But it's just, man, getting flicked on that second climb. You know, I mean, the fact that we caught them, okay, the fact that we caught them means that they were not doing 600 watts. They were probably doing 300 watts. They're probably going, you know, half the speed is or half the energy that we were doing. So now they're way fresher when they hit the climb. And I'm I'm just thinking if there's any way I can get on with them and then maybe they slow down. Maybe they, they look at each other. Maybe they want to be friends. I don't know, dude. But as of right now, I'm going to have to average 500 watts for two and a half minutes. It's just not in the cards. There's no way that I can do my best power continually, right? Like, I'm going to lose power and that's what happened. So then this guy, he flats, or he had an issue. I jump on his wheel. Uh, dude is just, he's on San Boardman's team. Dude's drilling it, and he's so arrow. I'm doing 500 watts, four or 500 watts in his freaking draft. Get, the, get out of town. This is insanity. He actually ended up dropping me on the descent because he's just so arrow. Uh, I don't know if he got back on or not. I never saw him again. So, you know, whatever. But so we hit the climb for the fourth time. And it's like, if I could do 500 watts, I might be able to get back on. But I can't even see the group. And my legs are just blown.
This was, dude, this is unbelievable. I'm still feeling pretty good though, to be honest. Like holding 300 to 400 watts uh, felt good. So then I'm thinking maybe something happens. Maybe they crash and get hit by lightning. And then I see a group and I'm thinking this is, you know, uh, the main peloton. A break went up the road. They're all looking at each other. Oh my goodness, I've made it back on. I'm a hero. But then I realized that I've assumed the gender of the entire P12 women's field. Thought there were men. There were women. Toxic masculinity through the roof. <laughs> Not my field. Anyway, I get caught by Andrew and two other guys. And we sort of just roll it together. We were talking, and I was telling him, dude, if you guys quit, I'm super down to quit. But no one wants to quit, right? We don't, uh, no one quit. We kept going. We get all the way to the finish. We ride together. Those three guys finished in front of me. Um, and so, anyway, it was a, dude, honestly, when I look back at this, I feel really good about it. Initially, I thought, my feeling was, I'm a pretend bike racer. I'm not a real bike racer. I'm a pretend bike racer. Uh, because the guys that showed up today were actual bike racers compared to me. You know, I just felt really stupid. I felt super down. I, lo I lost all confidence after the race. Um, but I had, you know, looking back at this, man, this is a great opportunity to sort of just shear away any expectations you have on if you are fit or not or whatever. Like, your level of, of what I've set as a, as a bar has been completely reset. And that's really good for your fitness to comp just annihilate everything you think you know about what, you know, how fit you are so that you can sort of reevaluate and set new goals. This year, I've been having some good success. I mean, I've got I've gotten some second places and I feel relevant in the races. I feel good. Uh, I was really confident coming into this. But it's it's these moments that sort of just, you know big fish small pond and then all of a sudden you get into this massive pond with these guys that are just way out of your league and it it's it's really good for your ego it's hard at first it sucks at first you feel terrible but when you look back on it uh racing above your pay grade competing against your pay grade and that's just like i'm not talking just me anyone you if you feel confident and you feel good go find some guys that are going to kick you in the teeth because it'll be great for your overall program Anyway, uh, more videos on this whole weekend coming out soon. This was the hardest race I've ever done. I hope you enjoyed. As always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah!